Okay, we're going to try to make an assembly drawing here, and we're going to do what is called an, uh, an exploded view, um, or exploded assembly drawing that'll show us how to put the parts together without them actually being together. It'll be separated, kind of like Legos, uh, the Lego instructions are when you do those. So we'll click by clicking new. Um, we're, this one's an English part, or standard part, so we'll go to standard inch IAM, so IAM is the extension for assemblies. And when we do this, um, if we were doing a metric one, we would want to go to down to the assembly part and click on the one that says standard IAM, MM IAM, but it's English, or it's standard, so we'll go to standard inch IAM. All right. All right, so first thing we we'll do is when this comes up, you don't want to do any of these other ones right now. There may be other times you want to use those, but we're just going to click place, and we're going to find the screw to place the screw first, and just going to kind of pop it in there. All right, once you place it in place there, what we want to do is um, we'll right-click and we'll click OK because we're done. And um, the next thing we'll do is, uh, oh, we want to go up here. We want to have right-click on that. We want to have one part that's grounded, so this part won't be able to move now. It stays there. So that part's in its place, and now we'll click Place, and we're going to place the other pieces. We'll click on the flange, and we'll click two flanges in here. Um, and you'll notice when I hit escape that I can grab them and move them where this part, because it's grounded, I can't. I'll click place again. I'm going to grab the grinding wheel and put the grinding wheel in place somewhere right in here. I'll hit escape, and then I'm going to click on the nut, and I'll place the nut in there somewhere. All right, so that's all kind of tight in, in there. So um, I might want to zoom out and move them around a little bit so we have some space to do some things. So let's start by doing this. Let's click Constrain. We're going to constrain these parts to it because we don't want them to move around too much. We actually want them in specific places. And you've got these options of doing different kind of constraints here when you are assembling things. For this purpose, all we're going to do is click Insert, and we're going to click op Opposed. And we'll click like that circle there and the circle here. And it puts it in place. Now it puts it right on the end, and I can't move it. But I want to move it out because I need space to put that one in. So let's do something like add uh, maybe four inches to that. So that moves that out there four inches, but you see how they're still lined up? That's exactly what we want. All right, so now next we'll try to do this one. We'll say, let's try doing this one to this hole right here. That's what we want, but we want to offset it again. We'll offset it two inches, but watch. Oh, that's it did exactly what we want. We move it out there two inches. We might even go back and maybe move it three. So now it's between those two things. Um, and that looks pretty good. So that's aligned pretty well. So we'll do this one. We'll click Apply, and we'll line this one up. We want to line that side up right there. So I got that hole with um, this one right here. And I want to offset it again. So I'll offset that one maybe two more inches. It's a little tight in there because when we do this, it might overlap a little. So let's back it up and put it out three. So we've got a gap that we can see easily. And we'll click Apply there. And we'll try this one more time. And we'll say that we want... Um, this hole right here, I'm going to click that circle to align with this circle right here, right? And I'm going to offset it maybe another two inches. All right, so I'll click apply there. Okay, now that we've got them aligned, we have to decide what we want this to look like. When we put that in there, we can make it look like this. We're going to do an isometric view when we make our assembly, but this is it. So everything's lined up in line the way it should be when we do this. So we can pick this way or this way to do our assembly drawing one way or the other. Um, I tend to like this way because when we when we place part, uh, when we put it in on a title block, we'll put this around here and there's going to be a, the title block down here and a parts list. So it gives us a little more space, but you can choose either way. All right, so now we've done this, we'll click Save and we'll save that as assembly. Um, the name we want to give it is 484, um, let's see, it was 484. Dash 13. Oh, I knew it right there. Dash 13, dash 30. And this is a grinding, grinding wheel assembly. All right. Oops, I always add an extra S there for some reason. Fingers just go too fast. That's the grinding wheel assembly. And click Save. All right. Now we'll go to File, and we're going to click on New again. We're going to actually make a drawing of it this time. So click Insert, NCIDW, Create a Drawing, and we're going to put in our base view. And let's say we want that view right there. We don't want it to be half scale. Let's go one to one. One to one looks good. What happens if we go to two to one? Is it too big? Um, that actually might be pretty much what we want. So 
let's go ahead and click OK and see what happens. So it should create the drawing, the assembly drawing, the way we want it to look. Um, and for now, this is probably going to be good enough for what we want to do. It's, at least they're all lined up um, to do this. And it, we'll get into this deeper when we get farther into it, but for right now, this is all we need to know. So now what I want you to do is this, is you're going to go to Annotate. The next thing we're going to do is click on a parts list. So we'll click parts list. It asks us to select a view, right? Select a view, and we'll click this view right here. And when we look at this, these are the we want structured and first level um, direction. This is fine. Uh, enable wrap. That's we don't have to do that because we want them to be stretched out. And click OK. This BOM view is disabled in the reference assembly. The BOM view must be enabled to proceed. Do you wish to enable? Yes, we do. So click OK. And we're just going to kind of drop this down here. See how I put that so it just snaps right to that? That's what you want to do there. All right. So then we'll click this and we'll just drag that out to this part right here. All right. So what this does is it, it puts things in there where we've got descriptions um, in that. And I might have made a... Let's see if we can kind of fix some things. See how... Notice how it put a nut in here? So when I did this, I put nut in when I made the part right here. I put in a nut. Um, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to open these other other parts. So let's go to open. Um, and if you didn't do, if you did this already, that's great. But I'm going to open the flange. I'm going to open the grinding wheel, and I'm going to open the screw. So I'll click open and open all of those parts. So let's go back here to the flange. We we'll go to I properties, and we're going to update this. Um, let's see in our project, we should be able to change this to flange click apply and close and let's see what happens if we go to that assembly um, grinding wheel assembly it adds it right here Do you see that so that's what we want to do so let's go back to the flange here and we're going to click I properties oh let's take part number let's take flange out of the part number here all right and click apply and close Let's see. Oh, we got to save it. We'll go to the assembly there. Oops, the assembly there. And now that put, gets us the part number the way we want it to be. So when we look at the screw, the model of the screw, we're going to go to I properties. Go to this part um, here. Get rid of screw right here. And we're going to add screw to the description right here. Oops, I numb cap lock on. We'll add screw to that description. Click apply and close and we're going to save that part and let's see what is the part that we need to do we needed the grinding wheel did i have that part open already i must have missed it so let's go to open if you did it already that's great go to i properties we can get rid of grinding wheel here and we're going to add grinding wheel here Click apply and close. All right, we want to save that. So now it should come over here to your, uh, your assembly and everything should look right. So it's telling us in this assembly that we have right here, we're using this part right here, the screw. There's a quantity of one right here. Notice it says an item number. There's a quantity of two for the flange. So there's a flange there and a flange there and a quantity of one for each of these other things. We don't have the rest of that figured out yet. So we'll do that. But this ballooned assembly drawing is when you're, when you're trying to make that. And this is what you'll see. You click balloon here and click on this part. Kind of put that out there. Um, you left click to place that and then right click to continue. Do the same here. Click on the part you want. Left click here. Right click continue you can click on the part here click this I'm gonna left click again and I can drag that out to the right and left click there and right click and continue if I want if you want to do that you can click on this one click on that click straight out you might have to play with it a little bit to kind of figure it out and practice but that's okay but notice that it says that this is part one that's part one part two Part two, there's two of those things. Part three, so this is a balloon, a balloon assembly drawing. So um, we'll click save, and we're going to be fine with that right there. Um, we want, oops, yes to all. We want to save all of those things.
yes to all and then click OK. All right. Then we'll click I properties and we want to get this right again. So we're going to put in our title block, Kettle Run High School. And oops, Kettle Run High School goes down here. This is the grinding wheel assembly. Go over here to the project uh, tab. We will go 484-13-30. Um, we're going to get rid of grinding wheel in the part number. And we're going to, we don't need that stop number there. That's what I just typed in. That was my mistake. And we're going to do grinding wheel assembly. All right. Click apply and close. And all this stuff should finish down here. This is a finished assembly drawing, um, exploded assembly drawing. You would, you could potentially go back in here and do some things where you add some um, uh, hidden lines or center lines. I might want to draw a center line that goes from this point to here, but it's trying to put center points in there. Um, you might do it in sketch also if I click a line. Uh, there's uh, other things we could do. We're not going to worry about that. We'll worry about that when we get to engineering. All right. So good luck.